Bro camera. Action! My sense of hearing is the strongest thing that I use. It's my strongest weapon. Sound? Sound speed and zoom 0027. By the sound of your voice, I can tell if you're sad or happy, no matter how you want to pretend. There is that thing in your voice that tells me this person is sad, okay, this person is happy, this person is moody. I can tell all your moods by just hearing your voice. My name is Dennis Jonathan and I'm popularly known as the blind filmmaker. I love acting, so I picked the interest of directing through acting. Somebody once told me, how can you go into filmmaking and you have a side issue? And, the, and I was like, as far as I'm concerned, that is what I want to do, and I'm not allowing my side to stop me. I came to realize that there is something in me that wants a job to be done properly. I want to lead these people and I, I feel I can lead them to victory. It all started when I was uh, two years old, fell ill. It was like uh, a normal body illness. The doctors could not detect what's wrong with me actually. But afterwards, my mom started seeing some changes my eyeball but she didn't take that serious actually until when I was five so when I complained I could only just identify figures I cannot see your facial expression I'll just notice okay some moving object is there we tried so many hospitals they told us that there is nothing they can do about it there's no drugs or no glasses that can correct it it's been trouble growing up with this issue. Sometimes people in the society look at you as someone that they should pity. There are times that when I stumble over something and then the next thing you just hear, don't you see? Some people will do things intentionally. They want to see how you struggle to do that. There are times you'll be so lonely. I'm a kind of person that I love going out. I love doing things. As a director that has a side issue, you need to give your actors specifications. You have to specify their movement. Refrain. When I mark a particular point and I expect you not to cross it, and uh, surprisingly, when you cross it, I know. So we move her, we follow her move sequentially. The first reaction was, is this a joke? How can a visually impaired person say he wants to direct? Camera rolling. But when I saw a lot of things he was doing. I was taken aback with the kind of directing skills he had. I said to myself, just have a little faith. It's quite difficult for you to allow a blind pilot to take you to where you're going to. But uh, I just took that faith and allowed the pilot to fly the plane and I was not disappointed. When you move, I hear your steps. You can count how many steps you have made so far. If you're 100 meters away from me, there's a way when the wind blows, I get your smell, and I get to tell how far you are from me. My sense of feeling, I go with that strongly. The ears and the feelings, I combine them together to give me the sight. Dennis is a phenomenal filmmaker. He has uh, outgrown the level of disability, and he has used his disability to make things better for himself. He uses this light, in his eyes and uh, gauges it with the camera. And uh, by the time you get to the camera and you see a perfect picture of what he wants, the directorial concept of this guy in terms of uh, camera movements and the cinematography itself is second to none. Refrain. Anytime I'm doing my casting, I used to tell my crew, I need a tall lady and she has to be fair. Her eyeball needs to be blue, and then she has to have long hair. Her voice needs to be deep. So all those descriptions I give my people for the kind of cast I want to see on my film, and they handle it perfectly well. For directing his actors, is a consultative director. We put our heads together as a team. He gave me the reason to believe that acting is one of the sweetest and easiest things to do. Dennis makes it so simple. Even when you make mistakes, he doesn't stress his actors. I've been disappointed a lot of times in film 
directors have disappointed me. I saw Dennis as somebody I could trust. Dennis has been determined. And once you are determined, God is going to change your story. My future plan as a filmmaker is to have a production house for myself and for the people that we're working with. Blindness itself, people who say it's a disability. But in as much as that is true, but I didn't allow that to limit me. I'm not a motivational speaker. But what I will tell you is, accept who you are. Try and get things work for you. When you see me on the street, when you see me at home, you will swear that <laughs> this guy is fine. Why? Because I chose to leave than to exist. Thank you.